Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys can hear me properly and see me properly because today I'm filming on my phone camera today. I already packed all of my other equipment. I don't have any more studio lighting. So this is going to be natural lighting, phone camera, and of course the screen behind me is still here. I'm going to be here filming for another few weeks and after that I'm going to have to find a new filming room somewhere at my parents house until I find a permanent space for me and my son to be at if you are new here I'm currently going through a divorce I keep on saying it to everyone uh, not because I want people to be like feel sorry for me in any way but basically because my uploading schedule is um, all over the place uh, what I want to do is I want to show you guys what I was bringing along with me on vacation because I did go on holiday with a friend of mine it was a kind of summer kind of beach holiday and I just wanted to show you guys what I brought along with me because I'm so proud <laughs> <laughs> of everything and I just figure it'd be a fun video first off I'm not sponsored by this brand in any way but I gotta say this Nori case it's like a Scandinavian brand but this Nori case is so good so basically there's like magnets in here <laughs> <laughs> and you can attach them together and the magnets are really strong as you can tell and yeah like I packed a ton of stuff but one of these cases is has my skincare and this skincare case I put in my bag and this one is TSA approved uh, so it's like see-through so if you're you are requested to show what's in your case uh, you basically can see it already like this but you can also travel with it like this of course normally they're not like this thick but i wanted to put all my skincare and all my makeup in here i wanted to limit myself to not bring too much makeup because it is a summer holiday so you're not going to be wearing a lot of makeup what i want to do is i want to show you guys my skincare first and then i'll show you guys i'll basically test it out on camera but i'll show you guys um my beautiful makeup as well it's gonna be i'm hoping a little bit of a fast video because i i like the the shorter videos i like editing the shorter videos as well this is what's in the case so this is going to be my skincare case first again the brand is called nori they have a bigger version but i loved this traveling bag it's faux leather by the way and in the skincare case the first thing that i brought was some pr from florises i want to show you guys this quickly so florises sent me three things they sent me this beautiful like this is one of those balm cleansers now of course i didn't take the balm cleanser with me it was just not travel friendly but i do want to show it because i'm just so grateful florist sends me these things in pr i don't get a lot of pr you see my channel size is very small but this one smells beautifully so they sent me this but they also sent me some travel like cases uh, like travel cleansers as well the first one was this one they're like these mini oil cleansers and i brought two of them along with me because i didn't think i was going to wear a lot of makeup but maybe if i went like went out for a second I could use one of these so this is one of the travel ones for by the way before I take off my makeup I'm gonna make a mental note for like future me um, I've been loving my base today and I have this little tester this is a Clarence skin illusion SPF 15 tester and this was the shade 112C. I should probably be 110 Honey. But that's what I'm wearing on my face today. And I actually love my base today. I actually got complimented by some colleagues as well for my base. So little mental notes, Sonia. If you do, if you are looking for something like skin-like. And this is so liquidy. It's like a serum uh, almost. But it does have a lot of coverage. If you're looking for something like that, Sonia, <laughs> this is the one. In 110, this is 112, and it's a little bit more pinky than I am. I'm more neutral slash warm. Um, but yeah, any if anyone cares, this is also on my face. Very beautiful. It does have a very heavy fragrance, though. But, okay, back to my case. So I have one of these oil cleansers, so I'm going to cleanse my face. And they also send me these. These are, uh, like, wet wipes. And there's one side, so the thicker side, the pink side, which is for the face, and the other side is for the eyes. And I loved these on the holidays. Uh, this is the last one that I've left. I basically kept this one for this video because I want to show you guys what this looks like. But let's first do a little bit of oil cleansing. So I just put a little bit of the oil cleanser on my face. And... Oh, you can tell this takes off the makeup so easily don't need a lot so basically like this whole thing is a little bit too much 
I'm gonna do one side. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like all cleansed up. But it just breaks down all the makeup. You also see that this shade uh, foundation is a little bit too dark for me. It's very soft, like it's very smooth. It feels, it feels like a face oil, if that makes any sense. Like not a cleansing oil, but a face oil. And this one does have a very slight fragrance, but it's not too bad. Then you can go in with your wet wipe. So I'm gonna go in with the pink version first because that's the one for the face. And it's nice and drenched, and it's one of those big cloths. It's just really nice. So it's like a big daddy. And look how easy this takes everything off. Now you don't have to go over the eyes yet because there's a separate little cloth for the eyes, which is, it's so handy. How awesome is this? Again, got it from Florissance. That's the third, that's the third thing they sent to me, but it takes off a ton of makeup. Like this duo together, it's just a very great duo to have. Okay, then for the eyes, let's go into this side. And this one has, I guess, like it's a little softer. It's a little, a little less large. See? And it's just a little softer for the eye area. And it just takes off makeup very delicately. Now, of course, on holiday, I did, didn't did wear this much makeup. Like, I tend to wear less makeup. I'm now taking a cotton round. And I did bring along one of these smaller micellar waters. I'm in love with the micellar waters. I have the bigger ones at home. I use a ton of them. If anyone saw my Instagram stories, you saw that I have a ton of these emptied out. And I just do like a double, almost a triple cleanse at this point. Trying to get everything off. Then I went in with a toner. I actually... Um, put my toner in this little travel case but the toner that I use is this one by Paula's Choice I got the big daddy so this was just not travel friendly hence I put it in this spraying case and it was really nice it has one of those lids that you can take off and then you can just spray a little and get that final gunk of your face and your ears and your skin then I'm all cleansed and toned I like to go in with a moisturizer the moisturizer that I have been testing is this one by Violet of Art this is the boom boom milk I want to do a more dedicated review on this one I only have this much left this is the smaller version um, but this was really nice very travel friendly it's not glass it's plastic but it still feels very luxe. And this is like a toner, moisturizer, everything in one. And my skin has been loving this. So for someone that has oily leaning skin, this is lightweight enough to not make my skin look greasy and just nasty. Again, I'll do a little bit more of a dedicated review, but I have been really enjoying this and it was so travel friendly. So I was very happy to bring this along. Final skincare, I brought two um, sunscreens. I'm in love with sunscreens, guys. I'm a big fan of tinted sunscreen. So instead of a foundation, I brought a tinted sunscreen. And I also brought a non-tinted version. This is one of my favorite ones by Cosarex. This is the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream with SPF 50. And this one is the La Roche-Posay, also SPF 50. Anthelia's UV Immune 400 Tinted Fluid. This only comes in one uh, color. So if you are my skin tone, this is a very good option. I don't know which one I should show. I've showed this one in a YouTube short or on my Instagram or my TikTok. This is a very fluid um, like little number and I thought this is a really nice dry down so I kind of thought this is perfect for the summer if I want to do a full face but honestly I was sweating so much during my holiday and I went to Tenerife which is the Canary Islands, and this was kind of sweating off my face. So if I were to do this again, I'm not sure if I would take this along with me. It's just not uh, that sweat-proof, even though I, I do think it's advertised that way. The other one I brought from Cosarex is a little bit thicker in comparison, and this one also was a little bit too thick for the amount of humidity that there was in Tenerife itself. So neither of these were perfect 
both of them work sufficiently fine but neither of them are perfect for my skin type so i'm so oily when it comes to like hotter weather whereas in the netherlands everything is always so cold i'm way less oily and these both of these wear much better i'm gonna do sort of like a mix between both so this is the Cosrx on its own it has aloe vera so that's really good if you have burnt skin and i'm gonna mix in a little bit of that la roche posay to get a little bit of a tint because i do really like the tint but yeah for a summer kind of sunscreen i think next time i'll go with beauty of joseon i really like that sunscreen and i had another one in mind um oh the charlotte tilbury one so i did buy the charlotte tilbury this one uv invisible invisible uv flawless primer this one is surprisingly good it is just a little expensive because you know charlotte tilbury but this is what i did for foundation and this was immediately also my skincare the only other sort of skincare that I brought was this Gisu lip oil. I'm in love with lip oils right now. Anything lip balm. And I just nourish the lips. Mm. See? So a lot of the days, this is all I wore. Basically my skincare and nothing else. And like I said, it wasn't perfect. But I the I think the routine was perfect in this in the sense of like this is an amount of steps that I needed Just the products that I brought for this particular holiday weren't necessarily perfect, but Very happy and it all fit in this one case. So I was also very happy with that then next let's go to the Makeup portion of this video, which is the portion. I'm like very excited about I brought one powder which has my mirror so i did everything with this little mirror and the powder that i always use is a cheap powder by boots number no. seven this is the translucent perfect light press powder this is sort of a dupe of the charlotte tilbury one and i i like to travel with cheaper products because it's just so expensive if they break furthermore on this holiday i brought three Bika Beauty brushes. I brought this one, the 113, which is my favorite one to set under the eyes. A concealer brush, the 110, and my favorite brush of all time is the 109. Just across the board, I don't care what brand you are, the 109 is like that bitch. I also brought this Chanel brush. This was part of that, uh, you know, that Chanel trio brush set. So instead of the brush set, I just brought this one because it is encased so therefore the powders don't muck up uh, the rest of your case but i'll be honest i didn't actually use this brush at all i kind of only used these three so let's get into it for concealer because that's what i would be going into next i brought this concealer by ysl this is one of my favorite concealers of all time like honestly i love this formula this is the ysl touche claw high coverage radiance with the black band because there are two of them the only thing i don't like about this and i say this every single time that i use this concealer is i can never open it because i do my skincare before i do my makeup and this is just such a smooth surface it takes me forever to open so this is a beautiful i would say kind of light coverage maybe light medium coverage concealer but for my under eyes that are definitely maturing beautiful also this was a great concealer to wear uh, in this humidity it performed beautifully so definitely recommend bringing this one it's also very travel friendly because of how small it is again my only downside with this concealer is how smooth it is but i loved it absolutely loved it i would then go in with my bk beauty brush for concealing and just conceal some of those much needed concealing areas. And I wouldn't do a lot. I would definitely bring this concealer with me again on any type of holiday. Great for a minimalist if you just don't want to pack a lot. Before I go in with powders, I do want to go in with some more creams. I brought three cream cheek products and for blush I actually brought these so these are the lip oils by rare beauty and I've been using them for lips and for blush basically as a stain 
But let's first go into my contour and my bronzers. I brought these two by Victoria Beckham Beauty, the contour stilos. I have been loving them. And I think for my skin tone right now, I've been going in with this one. This is the shade Marble. This is just a really easy contour. It's expensive. This product is expensive, but I'm not going to lie. I don't hate it. <laughs> I actually, I actually really am in love with them. Basically for nose contour, like very simple nose contour, eye contour, you don't need to do a lot. Kind of went in heavy handed, but don't worry, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> Trusty BK109 does it all. So that's all I would do for nose. And for cheeks, I have the Rare Beauty Happy Soul Bronzer. I actually didn't whip out this as much I just didn't really need it I feel like this happy soul bronzer it's a great bronzer but yeah it, it just was an extra step that I wasn't really doing this holiday but for a more full face this is such a beautiful bronzer it just it's lo it's long wearing enough even in this weather but it just blends out so easily it's such a good bronzer then again, before I powder, I went in with one of these lip oils. I'm going to go in with Honesty, which is one of my favorite ones. This is a really great fall color as well. I'll show you the lip oil on my lips. Kind of like a brown color. But then I'll also just doop, doop the lip oil on the cheeks. If you don't like this lip oil formula for the for the mouth because it's not really a lip oil it's more like a lip stain if you don't like it for the mouth try it on the cheeks because i've been enjoying these as cheek products so much <laughs> it just gives you a very natural flushed cheek and it's also very travel friendly didn't take a lot of space multi-use and it didn't break me out so that's another thing i i am acne prone but this formula did not break me out and because it's sort of like a stain, it kind of, it like stayed on for really long. At this point, I've done like basically my blush and my bronzer. I'd go in with my powder and just powder all the areas that I thought needed some powdering. So this would be my base. I did bring some lip liners as well. So I use fun together with honesty and I would use the lip liner in bold together with serenity just if i wanted a more pinky look so the, those were sort of my looks i'm not sure if i need a lip liner today but i'm gonna go in with fun anyway even though i just glossed up my lips again i didn't do all of these steps i just want to show you guys what i brought along with me for eyebrows i brought this pencil from rare beauty this is relatively new and I wanted to test it out to see if I enjoy it more, if I'm starting to get used to the formula. And honestly, I think the formula is just a little bit too soft, especially for these weather conditions. They're so incredibly soft. So I wouldn't take this pencil along with me. It's also just not my favorite pencil, but it did the job. It like did a good job. It's just, it's not really for me. Next time, I'd probably take with me the Victoria Beckham or the Gucci one. Those are a bit harder. For the eyes, I brought two of my Victoria Beckham eyewears. I, of course, brought my favorite one, Trench, and I brought Pecan. And I also brought one of these uh, Rare Beauty sticks. I'll do a quick eye look with them because I feel like I featured them on my channel a lot already. But I usually go in with Trench on the lid not even go far because i put my bronzer up here already just to cover some veins some imperfections if you want you can deepen out the outer corner with pecan this is a little bit drier in formula so a little bit harder to blend so i go in with my fingers right away and i brought integrity from rare beauty which is the lightest one if i wanted to do maybe like a very beautiful I don't know glossy eye look but now I'm just gonna use it for the inner corners of my eye 
I did bring the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow in Space Cowboy. I actually started loving this a lot during this holiday because it's very understated. And all I did was put a little bit in the center. And this stayed on all day, like together with these eyewears or the Rare Beauty one. It's just a very simple eye look. You don't need a lot. It's just it's a simple eye look. Then, of course, I went into my trusty eye mascara trio. This is how I do my lashes. I didn't do this every single day, but I go in with my Dux Mascara Fixer after I curl my lashes with my Shoe Amura Curler. And I brought the Rare Beauty Mascara along with me because this is the least heavy. I wanted to bring the Victoria Beckham Beauty one with me because I have been enjoying that a lot. Unfortunately, that one is just so heavy. Oh, <laughs> I stumped my toe. I've demoed this trio a lot. So I'm only going to be using this one by Rare Beauty. Because that's kind of what I did on holiday. But I did bring along all three of them. But this for me on my holiday was a lot of makeup, guys. Anyway, guys, so that is my final look. I'm just very happy with the end result. I definitely feel like I got a full look out of this. And the look is very happy, like healthy and fresh and great for the summer. Some of the products I wouldn't recommend to bring along with you in a very summery, hot, humid climate. Like, for example, the sunscreen from... Uh, the Royal Roche Posay, the tinted sunscreen, was just a little bit uh, not humidity proof. Same goes for the eyebrow product from Rare Beauty, the eyebrow pencil. Not really great to bring along with you. The um, the lip pencils, however, I did think were very good because there's a sharpener at the back. So you don't need to like bring an extra sharpener with you. The Rare Beauty lip oils, if you haven't tried it already, try them on the cheeks because they do look very nice on the cheeks. I didn't think I needed the bronzer from Rare Beauty if I brought the Victoria, Victoria Beckham Beauty Stilos. But neither of them I used a lot. I liked the eyewears that I brought so the eyeshadow sticks were very fun to use. And um, I didn't need a lot of brushes. Like, I brought too many brushes. All I needed were the three brushes from B BK Beauty, and that's it. I'll link everything down below. I also linked this beautiful case from Nori down below because I, I actually love this case. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's just such a good case. And like, I, like you see, it's just a very good magnet. It's a great system. It's faux leather. I'll put it down below anyway if you were interested in picking this one up as well because I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a travel case. I hope you guys liked this video. I loved doing it and I loved just being on camera again. Thank you guys all so much for watching and comment down below if you have any questions regarding you know anything you saw in this video. Comment down below if you want to recommend anything that I can take with me during a holiday next time. And of course, you guys like this video if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you like the brands that you saw here. Uh, and I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!